Hello Capricorn, we're here to do your weekly love reading. This is a timeless reading. Regardless of when you find it, this is for the third week of July. So let's look and see what your energy is in your love life. If I see anything to do with career or money and it's blatant, I will just blurt it out. I will always share with you. All right, so we have cards that fell out. I'm not going to take them all. Three of Swords, Page of Coins. A time for a decision about a relationship. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. Okay, so we're going to continue to shuffle here and see what we can see. Oh, the cards are not wanting to shuffle. Weird. Okay, look at that. This is crazy. Okay, there. Capricorn, you have to tell me what's going on. So we see, oh good, the bottom of the deck energy is the sun card overall energy for the reading you have fire in your belly you're waiting to hear an answer from possibly a job application for some of you you may have had some upheaval in the recent past you're really wanting your freedom right now is what i'm seeing oh look at that falling in love okay so here we go so let's take a look and see what we have now for your reading. In the recent past, you and a lover have absolutely temperance card. It looks like you've gotten back together with somebody. So when we look at that energy of the temperance, that's a reconciliation card typically. So beautiful. And it can be just reconciling or being together, coming back together again after being apart physically for a while. The mutual energy currently, woo, la la, passion, Leo energy, Leo energy, woo. All right, Capricorn, you have your hands on a hot, 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 hot romance. Okay, staying calm but passionate, having fun. Three, three beautiful cards. Okay, so the Ten of Coins reverse looks as though right now there's no stability in the relationship. What we're getting is two people who are not really geared towards a, a necessarily a future you know definitely could be a younger group of people watching the video or the collective but the energy here is that you know this is virgo energy really not working towards anything just living in the moment enjoying each other's company and having fun the way you view the situation is it's a new beginning. You're really, really in a spiritual place. You're taking the leap of faith. You're, again, having fun, enjoying life. Your person is a little bit more grounded than you are. Look at, there we have Virgo energy. Your person looks as though they have fire in their belly to move this relationship forward. You're in a much more playful mood than I think they are. Very grounded down to earth. Ace of Wands moving very slowly towards a very passionate and fiery um, relationship. I like it. What's hidden between the two of you? Okay, so I do feel as though with the Ten of Wands, you're giving up a burden. Both of you are giving up some sort of burden. What else? Why else is the Ten of Wands there? The Justice card. So somebody may have to leave another person. That's why the, the Marriage card is uh, reversed because the Ten of Coins is a Marriage card. So what I'm getting here is that for the two of you to be together, uh, somebody has to divorce another person is how I'm reading that. Okay, look at this. Spirit is saying that you're soulmates. The Six of Cups energy, Scorpio energy, we have Sagittarius, we have Libra, we have Aquarius, we have Virgo, we have Fire Sign, Virgo, yeah, okay. So, what what is the outcome for this week? The Aries Emperor, look at that, playing, making all of your moves very strategically right now. A major arcana for the outcome, a major arcana for the beginning. So let's go ahead and clarify and see what's here. I will close out with some oracle cards that are going to help keep you grounded during the process, as well as advice from your ancestors. Okay, so let's see. Why do we have temperance here? For Capricorn, 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 look at what happened. I'm going to pull that card out. So again, that card foretells of a departure, okay? So departure is necessary. So let's see why temperance is here. I'm gonna put that down here, okay? Because we have 10 of wands, 10 of swords, justice card. What's hidden is a legal situation in which someone's leaving. Okay, so there we go. 
Why is temperance here? Why are the two of you in this energy of temperance? Eight of Wands moving forward very passionately together. Really happy about that energy. That is Sagittarius energy. You could be going on a vacation, a trip, but you are burning up the bed sheets. <laughs> Not literally, just figuratively, but you might want to have a fire extinguisher on hand. The Ace of Swords, the truth be told. The Leo energy is all about stability. Leo energy is a fixed sign. And we have Mars in Leo right now. If you're dealing with a Leo, Mars as well as Venus, a very, very auspicious time to come together with anybody who is a Leo in a relationship. So when we look at the Ten of Pentacles reverse, there is a marriage spinning on its head. And spirit is protecting lovers here. So we're seeing that a marriage is coming to an end. And the guardian angel here in this lover's card is protecting both of you. So it's beautiful. Um, let's look and see what the fool card is saying for Capricorn. What is going on with Capricorn? You are you have fire in your belly. You have fire in your belly to move forward to defend your relationship. Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles here juggling too? That makes sense. So you've met this person either once they started the divorce, which is what it looks like. It looks like that's, that was already underway when you started. And now we have the Queen of Pentacles. So your person really wants stability with you. They're coming in with Queen of Pentacles love. The way they see the two of you moving forward is perhaps by having a family together. But they definitely see you, Capricorn. You're the Capricorn Queen. They're in love with you. They're falling in love with you. They want to nurture the relationship. They want to give you stability. They definitely are leaving the past behind. When we look at the energy of the Knight of Swords, your person wants to rush in and tell you something. They do watch you very carefully on social media, but they're really, they're coming in to try to tell you or to tell you that they know that you really love being single, Capricorn. That, that's Virgo energy. They understand that you're in a very good place in your life, but they're trying to tell you that it's going to take a little bit of time to heal the situation that they're in, that they need to go very slowly. They can't jump in too quickly. And we have the Queen of Swords here. So your person wants to make sure that as they leave another relationship, they want to make sure that there's no sort of, um, you know, they don't want their family to think that you were having an affair or their children or anyone else. They want to keep the relationship a secret until the divorce is final so that there's no blame placed on you, which would then poison the relationships with children, you know, with exes, that sort of thing. So they're trying to be very strategic. So these cards fell out. I'm not going to take them. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and clarify what we see here with the Six of Cups card. Capricorn. It's complicated, but very lovely for you. What's going on is very much in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> so Spirit is, is handing you the Wheel of Fortune. Destiny is turning in your favor. You might have known this person for many years from childhood. You may have gone to school together. This could be an old family friend. There's so much loyalty. There's so much love and you both want to grow old together. And Spirit is advising that that would be a wonderful choice. And with the guardian angel, that tells a story also. Look at this. So you're going to take your time, but it looks as though this situation is moving along pretty quickly to a conclusion. Whatever divorce, whatever legal procedure here that's going on will be over and is culminating. So let's pull one more card for your outcome and see what's going on, Capricorn. Three of coins, you're just tired. You're tired of waiting. You're like, I have my arms crossed over here. This has taken too long. It could have taken a long time. And the death card is finally here. So you do have the release, the release of the uh, this divorce situation that looks like it's being handled. Let's go ahead. I'm going to take a few more cards here and look at how you're feeling with this lovers up here. What about this lover's card? What is that? Yeah, loving. You love each other very deeply. You've loved each other for a long time also. 
and you are at that crossroad. So it makes perfect sense. It's a very clear cut story that I have for you. Let's look and see what your ancestors are saying to you, Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. All right. Embrace the energy of peace. Okay. No messy divorces here. Okay. <laughs> and drop your shields. There we go. So, you know, really keep everything calm. You know, let your defenses down. Just be your genuine self, your genuine, beautiful, practical, solution-oriented self. Let's see what the Earth angels are have for advice for you. This is a forest, the Oracle of the Forest, and how to stay grounded. And it says prosperity. Nice. Prosperity is coming about. Well... We have the Emperor card. The Emperor is oftentimes a person who is very prosperous. And we have expansion. Your life is about to expand. How exciting is that? Just be discreet. Keep everything calm. Try to keep everybody happy. Take care, Capricorn. It's been a joy being here with you. Thank you.